my name is Jana Hempler and today we're going to discuss how to train for your first 5k. Okay, so 5k is the topic today. Uh, I've done a 5k, but there's a lot of viewers out there that haven't. Uh, what, what do they need to know? So the main thing that they need to know about a 5k is that if you've never ran before, the 5k is a really, really good distance for you to aim for to complete. And you could say, oh, I want to eventually do the 5k under 40 minutes, or eventually I want to do a 5k under 30 minutes. It seems to me that generally a lot of people feel really really good about themselves and they should feel really really good about themselves if they can do a 5k under 30 minutes okay and that seems to be the benchmark for a lot of people it's like it's always the 30 minute 5k the one hour 10k which we'll talk about in the future okay but yes yeah future video stay tuned um now what uh what, what are the key points uh when it gets to a 5k so I think that it's uh, the same rule applies. So generally you want to start out slow and start out with shorter stuff and you want to build it up gradually. So ideally you don't want to increase your weekly mileage by more than 10%. Okay. And you also don't want to increase your long run volume by more than 10% every week, week over week. And then as you get more advanced, you can break that rule a little bit, provided that you don't have any injuries. But if you're injury prone, if you stick to the 10% rule, you should be good. Okay. And the other thing that you really want to focus on with a 5K is signing up for a local community race that's very not intimidating. Maybe like it's a charity for charity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like for charity. And then that way, you don't feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And everybody's there to support exactly. each other. Exactly. Yes, that's the key. Now that we're talking about support, the other thing you want to do is you want to maybe join a run group or maybe start one of your own where you get three or four of your coworkers together and you run after work. Maybe you have a little plan created for yourself for how you're going to build up. And then you get your coworkers to come along with you so that then you have somebody that you're always accountable to. Yeah, because you know, then if you're bugging them and uh, or you're they're bugging you, you're you're holding them yourself accountable or holding them accountable and then you you have to do it. Exactly, you have to do it. And the other thing about a 5k is that it's not a huge time commitment. I know that a lot of people when they're first starting running, they're like, "Oh, I want to run a marathon." And that's good and that's awesome and I hope that everybody gets a chance to eventually run a marathon, which we'll also talk about. But a 5K is a really good starting point. Yeah, okay, cool, duly noted. So 5K is easier than starting with a 10K or anything bigger. Start small um, right. and celebrate the small achievements. Exactly, so then once you get to your, so the 5K, I mean, you want to focus on all the cues such as breathing properly and eating well. And in general, if you're exercising more, you're going to end up eating better just naturally because that happens a lot of the time is what I found anyways, is that, you know, when I'm not exercising or when I'm not running or not doing much, I'm more likely to eat the junk food. But when I'm actually training for something or training for a race that I want to do well at, then I start to watch what I'm eating, I start to put better things in my body, and that in turn allows me to do better in running. So you are what you eat. That is true. Cool. Okay, so those are uh, some great key points to get started to do a 5K, a great milestone. Uh, so where can we find you? So you can find me on Instagram at YHempler. You can find me on Facebook at Yana Hempler Fitness or also on my website slash blog www.yanahempler.com Which is all in the description box below. So we're doing weekly videos. If you uh, subscribe, you can follow along. But don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, we want to hear from you. What was your biggest takeaway from today's video? And give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs>